hi everyone. I'm Matteo. So I'm a, I've been in uh, engineering for the last 20 years, about 10, 12 years in, in data. So uh, I basically started out the group, of the data group at uh, DBS Bank here in uh, in Singapore, which is the biggest bank in Southeast Asia. And uh, right after, right before starting Dozer, I was uh, um, leading the Asia Pacific uh, Data Engineering Group for Goldman Sachs. So those are came from a personal experience of myself and uh, my co-founder Vivek as well. Primarily, those are solves uh, the issue of serving data very efficiently. Uh, so when the typical use case is where you have a, a bunch of data sitting in your operational system, whether they are OTP databases or or analytical system like data lakes or data warehouses uh, um, or even other, other sources. And you have to uh, create uh, what typically is called an experience layer to serve uh, uh, customer facing application where you mention, you, you say, these are my sources, these are my transformation, these are the caches that I want to expose. And we take care of, uh, of pretty much everything, uh, keeping the cache in sync uh, uh, with uh, with uh, with all the sources, so because we use uh, uh, we use real time CDC for for um, for databases, for example, or table strings or Snowflake, uh, we keep everything in sync. So you have a caching layer that is uh, very efficient and, and always up to date. And API are basically generated out of out of the box. It's amazing. So the developer experience then is much, much better and the maintenance is lower because you know if you change the schemas I guess in one end then that's uh, that's right. Actually, actually you, you brought up you brought up a really good point because this is not just about developing the infrastructure because that's one part, but it is the maintenance and the operation. It takes time to design a system like that. We take care of all this. Like whenever something changes in the source, uh, everything is uh, a, a new version of the API is uh, is automatically published, and you can switch to the new API whenever you want. So that's that's where we help as well. Increases performance, I would guess, and a better experience to the end user, right? In terms of query and data layers. That's that, that's that's correct. That's correct because many, I mean, as I was mentioning before, this backend system they're not too designed to sustain that uh, kind of uh, rate traffic. Uh, so in in by doing all this, we also help in uh, in in saving money to some extent because we offload the source systems and many times these source systems. Uh, uh, talking about enterprises are very expensive and uh, and uh, uh, and you know sustaining all this traffic is 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 painful so that's another aspect we help especially in enterprises in offloading uh, source systems or reducing costs as well Art uh, was was quite good actually i mean we we just recently launched a couple of months ago we uh, we are fully open source under Apache 2 license. Uh, we we started getting some uh, some traction online. We we uh, we reach a thousand stars in 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 a couple of months, and uh, and uh, and now we start a conversation with uh, enterprises as well. Mostly, I mean, the good thing is that most were inbound coming. Uh, big enterprises. We're talking about financial institution. We're talking about uh, telcos. Uh, so that's a, that's a very interesting part because uh, especially as you mentioned, the bigger the company is, the more pain they're 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 having. So, so yeah, I mean we raised the seed round from uh, uh, Sequoia and uh, Google's Gradient Ventures and January Capital uh, back when we started the company. Actually, when we raised, we were actually pre-product. Uh, that uh, was uh, primarily to build the product and to get the initial initial traction, and that's that's uh, that's still the plan, and that's what we're uh, we're working towards. Uh, we are a team of uh, uh, ten people uh, spread pretty much around, the, I would say, pretty much around between Europe and and Asia. Uh, a few people in Singapore, a few people in China, uh, Vietnam, uh, Lithuania, Italy. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's uh, the company. We're not really focusing too much on monetization for now, but we are starting to to in that direction as well. And uh, you know, one is as you brought as you mentioned uh, the cloud version. 
uh, the public clouds version. The second one that is mostly in the, the discussion of going on with enterprise is more about private cloud deployments, actually. So that the, that is uh, that is the let's say the proper enterprise version that uh, that uh, where the other monetization path uh, will will. The good thing about open source is that I believe because I've experienced myself even in big companies that you know now the decision makers are fundamentally the engineers or engineering lead. Uh, and uh, it doesn't work anymore to go to the CIO or the CTO of a big company and propose a solution. At the end of the day, it always boils down to the engineering team and the engineer taking the decision. And that's uh, that's uh, our bottom-up approach. So try the product. If you like it, you can bring in the company. And, and uh, this is something that I experienced myself. I mean, most of the product in, in, in DBS were brought in not because of a decision that was taken by the CIO, but it was like a, uh, some, uh, some engineering member that say, okay, this is a nice product, let's try it out. And then it became, it suddenly became an enterprise-wide product. And that's, that's where we believe uh, our product can fit very well. And that's the reason of being open source. And that's the reason of, of uh, you know, having all this open source motion, even if we are uh, if we are targeting uh, enterprises. Kind of like bridging the gap between the data world and the product engineering. We're empowering uh, the product engineer to build uh, uh, data products, actually. So that's that's the philosophy behind, uh, behind, uh, behind those. Uh, many regulated industries are not comfortable in having their data in the public cloud. They have their own private cloud, and that's what we are offering as well. So we offer deployments in your own private cloud, uh, so that all data stays with you and uh, it doesn't go anywhere. So that's that's uh, that's the uh, that's something we 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 need to offer actually for this kind of enterprise. Be a person at all actually. So I kind of had to learn uh, how to promote those are online, and I was quite uh, I was quite surprised about the the good feedback that we started getting on 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 Reddit, for example. Actually, I mean we we had a Reddit post that was quite. Uh, uh, successful and and, uh, and you know it was a very um, a very uh, I would say friendly and and uh, uh, explanation of the problem. I mean, if you look at the post, it's like okay, this is the problem. This is uh, who am I? The problem I faced uh, before and uh, why I think it's a pain and how we solved it. And you know, I I basically wrote that post in in in. Uh, uh, in five minutes, actually, without even thinking too much about it, and it was quite successful. So maybe one one suggestion I feel to give is that, uh, I mean, sometimes you don't know what can happen. Actually, I mean, sometimes you plan so much about uh, the the marketing aspect and uh, uh, what should I say, what shouldn't I say. That was that post was not planned at all. Was uh, was basically like talking with a with a with a colleague. And uh, and it it was quite successful, and we got really good feedback out of it. So that's the suggestion maybe I I, I could give to uh, like technical founders that are trying to go out and and uh, and promote their product. Actually, that's that's what I learned. How many projects there are in uh, implemented in Rust in the data space actually. And uh, this is a conviction that I have that uh, data engineering is going to be completely revolutionized by this. Data engineering has been traditionally uh, <clears throat> dominated by JVM-based tools, distributed system, very complex system. You think about uh, uh, Spark, Flink, uh, um, <clears throat> and um, I mean all this ecosystem. Now, with the uh, Rust, uh, more and more projects being implemented. In a, a much more efficiency and squeeze uh, a lot more C CPU cycles. And, uh, and if you think uh, data is uh, where you need most performance today, actually. And uh, so today it is possible to run on a single machine what required you a cluster before by using Rust on one side, by leveraging new ARM-based processor, and especially multi-core processors like the, you know, the Ampere processor, 
uh, it's uh, it's a lot is changing actually, and that's also the philosophy of Dozer. Like you know, traditionally, when you had to build something like data serving, you have to put up a Kafka cluster, you have to uh, have a distributed key value store or something. Now we say, okay, let's make it much easier. You don't need that complexity. You, we have the, the tools uh, that allows you to achieve all this uh, in, on a single core. Uh, not sorry, on a single, on a single processor, multi-core processor. And uh, that's, I believe, where the, the world is going, actually. I believe that, that, that uh, in a few years, the data space is going to be totally dominated by, uh, by, by Rust. And it's a good thing. I mean, uh, to be honest, I'm... I come from a 20 years ago embedded systems, actually, where I used to write C uh, code. And I missed that, actually, because I, I knew the value of squeezing every, uh, every bit of memory and every CPU cycle. And, you know, with the, with the abstraction going up and up, people have lost this. this. And, and now people have realized that if you go back to the basics, uh, uh, a lot more can be achieved. And I think people are realizing that. To become the golden standard of, uh, <clears throat> of data serving fundamentally, that's, that's, our, that's our goal.